Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I will be discussing the plugin actions feature, which is part of Power Virtual Agents. We're actually gonna be able to almost put like a wrapper around a Power Automate flow or any of the connectors that we currently also have available in Power Automate. And then we can call those directly inside of a topic without the need to have to ask any additional questions. I'll tell you all about it right after this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the outcome and then I'm going to show you how I actually set this up. So I'm going to start with typing in weather and that should direct me yep, to my correct topic. It's telling me what location would you like to get the current weather for. I'm going to say Boca Raton and let's just see. Okay, now it's saying the weather in Boca Raton is 83 Fahrenheit. This is 28 degrees Celsius and it is partly sunny. The dew point is 70 and it currently feels like 88 Fahrenheit, which is 31 degrees Celsius. Okay, so how did I do this? Let's go ahead and now go to a bot that does not have this configured yet. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on topics and I'm going to create a plugin action directly from here. And keep in mind that this is actually still in preview. So I'm gonna go here, you can see here I'm in topics and then I went to plugin actions that was actually already selected, but here are your topics and then here are my plugin actions. So I'm gonna add a plugin action. And what we can do is we can actually use the connectors that we're already familiar with from Power Automate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to search for uh, MSN weather. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the current weather. So I'm going to click on this particular one. And here you can see that this is the connector that's going to allow us to connect to it and then pull data from the connector directly into Power Virtual Agents. I'm going to click on next and here you can see the display name of this connector and the description as well. Now when you're calling this particular plugin action you can see here that you can also ask the user before running it. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and go to next and then you see a couple of required inputs here. It's already been pre-filled for me. So here you can say that you can see that it says it will dynamically fill in the answer to this particular input with the best option. You would also be able to hard code it and set a value yourself. I'm not doing that right now and this one is actually right the location that we're looking for. So you saw earlier that I was asked the location that I wanted to get the weather for. Then you can also see that we have a units display. So what we can do here, it's actually asking me either for metric, right, or the other option that we have as well, which is imperial. And you probably noticed that it didn't ask me for that. So what we can do here is we can say, uh, I actually want to set a value and maybe always make it metric or imperial. But there's also another place where you can do that. And that's actually what I ended up doing for this. So I'll show you that in a second. Currently, oops, that was this one, right? So I'm not going to do that here. I'll show you in a second where I did that because either option works, obviously. So then the next one is where I can actually either create a message or I can create an adaptive card. I can do that as well, right? So I can say, hey, let's click on the adaptive card. I can add my JSON in here, edit it, and then use that formula to put that card together. We're gonna keep it simple here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a message. Now, the nice thing when you're using these 
I almost want to say plugins, uh, right? But actually these different connectors is that now we have access to the information that's stored in that connector, right? So if I click here on insert variable, you can see here that this is the input location. So that's the location that the user entered. We have the units, but we also have output responses, right? And you can see there's a whole bunch of them. So what I ended up doing is I just put them in here and kind of was looking at what type of data I was getting back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say the weather in and then we want to have the location right and this could be either the input location or output location i'm going to say output location oh let me just go ahead and do location maybe if yep yeah, there you go that's the source location the weather in this particular location is currently and then we're going to look for the actual output right so that's the current temperature so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm gonna look for current temp current let's see here temp and there you can see here that these are the output responses of the current temperature so we're gonna put that in here and in a second I'm actually going to hard code this to Fahrenheit so that's why I'm just gonna put f of fahrenheit oops f of fahrenheit and <clears throat> i'm also wanting to put celsius in here as well so that they get both of those values now in order to do that because like i said earlier in a second i'm gonna hard code this to imperial values so what i could do here is i can actually use power fx to do a calculation right to calculate the imperial values to the metric values so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and put an expression in here and i'm going to say i'm going to go ahead and use this oops i'm going to let me do this again topic output responses dot weather dot current dot temp right that's that temperature there you go and what I want to do is I want to now calculate that to Celsius so here is my calculation and there you go so I'm using the current weather which is right in Fahrenheit and then I'm calculating that back into celsius and i'm going to go ahead and say insert so here it is right so this is so many degrees fahrenheit and then so many degrees celsius all right so we're doing a little bit of a calculation here and then i'm going to say and it is and again we're going to grab one of those variables and we want this current cap that is going to actually give us uh, information about by the weather again I'm going to do a dot here and the do point is and then again we want to do current do PT here it is that's the current do point and it currently feels like and this is actually Oh, I do not want to do a variable. Uh, sorry, I don't want to do a power automate. I want to do a variable. This is called current feels. And that is, again, in Fahrenheit. And we're going to do another calculation because, again, we want to go ahead and show that in Celsius as well. So I'm just going to do another calculation here that I'm just going to copy and paste in here. That's now the output dot responses dot weather dot current dot fields minus 32. And we're going to do write that calculation here again. And we don't need that Celsius sign in here. We want that in here. So I'm going to hit insert. And there it is. Now I'm going to click next here. And I don't really have to do anything else. This is just showing me what I did right here. My inputs and my outputs are here as well. 
So I'm just going to click add from here. So that's now done. So I just configured my plugin action. I'm going to hit add again. And there you go. There's my plugin action. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually now going to create a topic and then call that plugin action. So I'm going to create one from blank. I'm going to add a phrase here that says weather. There we go. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call an action. And that is that plugin action that I just built. So I'm going to go ahead again and select that MSN weather action. And here you can kind of see, right, it's looking for the uh, or it's it's outputting some of these responses directly in here, right? So you'll see that in a second. Now, because I want to hard code the units, I'm going to click here on set value and I'm going to set the value for the units. And this is going to be imperial. So that's another way to hard code one of those values. And then from here, I'm going to end the current topics. But you notice that I don't have to ask any questions in here. So let's go ahead and run this one more time now that we just created it. I'm again going to say weather. Here we go. That's now going to pull up. There you go, right? It's now pulling up that plug in action. And as you can see, it's asking me for the location. So let's do again Boca Raton. And you can see it's not asking for that units because I have hard coded that to Imperial. And again, it's 83 Fahrenheit, 28 Celsius, partly sunny. The dew point is 70, and curly feels like 90, which is 32 degrees Celsius. Now, another thing to keep in mind here, let me just go back here to plugin actions, is that you can actually also use this for any existing Power Automate flows that you might have. So you can see that I have one that's sitting in here. Um, currently, I couldn't really get this to work. Apparently, there's still, still uh, some bugs in there when it comes to these uh, Power Automate flows, but that is something that will be fixed soon so that we can try those out uh, as well. I, I really like these new plugin actions, and you can also see that this really speeds up uh, the way that we can create topics, right? We don't have to put additional questions in there. What's this city that you want to get the temperature for? What are the units? But right? you saw that the plugin action actually takes care of that by itself. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.